Oklahoma farmers may soon have another option when considering what crops to grow on their land. Legislation to allow the production of industrial hemp cleared the House committee this week. Officials say that the move could be the first step in establishing an important new cash crop in Oklahoma. While Oklahoma has always been known as wheat country, another crop could soon be springing up on state farmland. House Bill 2913, co-authored by Representatives Mickey Dolans and John Eccles, would create a pilot program administered by the Department of Agriculture to allow permits for hemp production on state university land. Eccles told members of the House Agriculture Committee the program would include strict requirements for farmers and would help to determine where in the state hemp grows best. 36 other states already have similar programs to produce hemp, which is considered valuable due to the large number of products that can be made from the plant. Obviously, a lot of people know about the hemp oil, which, which yes, there, that will be used for some of that. But there are other portions of the crop that can be used for other things. And uh, as the representative pointed out, it is now uh, legal, federally legal and regulated and is being done successfully in other states. The North American Hemp Council estimates hemp can be used to produce more than 25,000 products, including biodegradable plastics, textiles, building materials, and paper. While hemp is a close cousin of marijuana, it lacks the latter's intoxicating effects since it contains virtually no trace of tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC, the chemical in marijuana that makes people high. You cannot get high off of this, is this right? <laughs> no, you would, be, you would be foolish to try. Oklahoma and several other states regularly grew hemp until the plant was banned in 1937. That remained the case until four years ago when Congress passed the 2014 Farm Bill, which allowed states to begin cultivating industrial hemp for limited purposes. Dolan says ever since, the tide against hemp has been shifting. You know, there's nothing more powerful than an idea whose time has come. And I'm certainly uh, not the first to propose this idea. In fact, uh, we, Oklahoma was a, was a very important state for industrial hemp growth in the early 1930s, and it helped win the war effort. But now, with Philippine and East Indian sources of hemp in the hands of the Japanese, American hemp must meet the needs of our Army and Navy, as well as of our industries. During World War II, the U.S. Department of Agriculture temporarily reversed the ban on hemp, and actively encouraged farmers to produce the crop. Oklahoma was world renowned for the quality of hemp that we grew in this state. Whether it was making the clothing for our troops that were at battle overseas in the South Pacific or the ropes of the cords for their parachutes. Tina Walker, whose family has been farming in Oklahoma for generations, says Oklahoma's agricultural community is enthusiastic about the prospects for hemp. Every farmer that I have spoken with, once they understand that there is a difference between um, hemp and marijuana and they understand that difference, they're for that. There's no psychotropic value to this. We're talking about growing hemp, an agriculture crop, and giving them an opportunity to diversify. Walker believes hemp could be especially valuable as a rotation crop in areas where cotton is grown. Cotton pulls a lot of nutrients out of the soil. This actually can put nutrients back into the soil, a hemp plant can. And so and it has, uh, it's the number one nitrogen uh, plant in the world in that it has as much uh, nitrogen, puts as much nitrogen back into the ground as any legume. Jimmy Shannon is the owner of Amberry Health and Vapor Kingdom in Norman, which carries a variety of products made from industrial hemp. He says hemp has also been used to pull contaminants out of soil. A good example would be in Fukushima. After the um, nuclear reactor had melted down, they actually used hemp to pull radiation, toxins, and heavy metals out of their agricultural fields to be able to grow food for their people. Ryan Early is the CEO and founder of Cantech Labs in Oklahoma City, which markets a variety of items produced from hemp, including CBD oils, balms, and edible products. Early says currently they have to get their hemp from Colorado. We believe that here in Oklahoma, of course, we can grow hemp faster, uh, better. Oklahoma is traditionally known for high quality and high yielding hemp. Um, and so we want to utilize the agriculturally based state of Oklahoma to provide the hemp for our Oklahoma based manufacturing company. Early says hemp could potentially be a very lucrative product for Oklahoma farmers. Colorado ran uh, just over $4 billion in hemp sales um, compared to marijuana's $1 billion. 
in recreational sales. So um, it's a very viable market. Um, we think Oklahoma can be at the forefront of that market on a national and both international level um, very soon. This is a cash crop with a huge economic benefit to the state of Oklahoma. This is the type of thing Republicans, Demo Democrats should be able to come together and say, we want to do what's best for the state, for our farmers and ranchers, for the economy of this state, and have the state get out of the way. The bill easily cleared the House Agriculture and Rural Development Committee by a vote of 14 to nothing and now heads to the full House for a vote.